Hey everyone, Ashley Bendixson here from Square Up Farms, and a common question that I get asked is what does it take to take care of all these animals? How much time do you spend on it? And so today I wanted to bring you along on my winter morning chore routine. So I start by feeding the dogs, that's the first thing. Morning Macy! Macy's our 14 year old cavalier. She can't hear anymore, but she gets very excited for her food in the morning. Ready for your breakfast? You gonna dance around for me? Oh my! A little unsteady. Hey baby. <coughs> and then Ruby. Ruby, you want your food too? While the dogs are eating, I like to suit up in all of my warm Carhartt gear. It's January in Minnesota, so it can be a little bit chilly. All right, girls, let's head outside. So then I like to head to the barn to let the cat out and do the horse chores. Good morning, kitty. Hey, Tom. How are you doing this morning? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Kitty? And then I like to fill up the horse's grain containers. So Tess gets a little bit of a grain pellet and Nico just gets a supplement, vitamin mineral supplement because he doesn't need any more calories. <laughs> What a beautiful morning. So I have two horses on the farm right now, Nico and Tess. And Nico is head of the herd, so I have to tie him up with a halter in order to keep him from stealing Tess's food. So this is Nico. How you doing, buddy? You want your food? And then this lovely lady here is Tess. What you doing? Hi, good morning. So now I'm gonna go and grab their food and I just hang that on the fence for them to eat. So one of the questions that everyone asks me about Tess is why she has a fly mask on in the middle of winter. Tess actually has a bald face and blue eyes, meaning she has white face um, and that light pink skin and blue eyes, which sunburn really, really easy. And it makes her more prone to things like ocular cancer. And so I keep the fly mask on her and it's basically like a giant pair of sunglasses. So it just keeps those sun's rays off of her easy burning face. I'll have to show you guys her face sometime because her eyes are beautiful. So while the horses are eating their grain, then I go ahead and grab their hay for the day. So I've been feeding their hay in these hay nets that I just stick the hay into from this side of the fence and they work really well. Now last year I made a video on feeding the horses hay out on pasture to help move some of the manure from the paddock out to the field and that worked super well. I loved it and I started doing it again this year but for whatever reason the horses this year got super spooky coming up and down our aisle way so I decided to keep them in here and feed them in here for a few months over the winter and hope that that wears off by summer. And now with only two horses it really cuts down on the manure load. We had up to five at one point and so only two horses in here feels like nothing. The horses are done eating so I'm just gonna untie Nico and grab their feed bins. So then I like to go ahead and check the horse's water and I normally just end up filling it with a bucket uh, during the winter so I don't have to drain hoses. So I just take a bucket and put maybe three or four buckets in in the morning, maybe do a couple in the evening, but I like to keep it as full as possible. Now it's time for the chickens. So I only have to feed and water the chickens every few days because of how I have their system set up. Uh, but today is a day that I do have to water and I think feed too. So let's fill up this bucket here. And it doesn't need to be all the way full. Just like two thirds of the way will do. The feed is already down there. I just have to grab one more thing from the house and that is our scrap bucket. And it looks like Macy's ready to go inside. <gasps> you excited to go in? Woohoo! Crazy lady. Woohoo! All right, let's head to the coop. Go to the chickens. Yeah, good girl. Morning, chickens. How you doing, ladies? Clementine peels, onions, cucumbers, some pear and apple cores. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Like, um, chickens don't eat onions or citrus and all that crazy stuff. Well, in my experience, they will leave the stuff that isn't the best for them. 
and eat the stuff that's good for them. Their chicken run is also our compost pile essentially and so you'll find things like grapefruit rinds and lemon rinds that are just slowly decomposing in the bottom of this. So then I'm gonna feed them. I have just this hanging feeder over here and I keep a bag of their feed in this. I don't have much feed left in here. We keep a lot more chicken feed out in this bin here. So I've got a couple more bags. All right, since I don't have a lot of feed in here, I am going to fill this container up again. I feed a non-GMO layer ration. They get it free choice, so I really only have to fill that feeder about once every three days or so. So it makes chores super, super simple. I have 19 hens. They go through a 50 pound bag in about a week and a half. All right, it's time to water them now. I recently got a new chicken waterer. It's a struggle to find a good heated waterer. So far, I've been pretty pleased with this one. So this is Premier One's uh, heated nipple drinker. It's really easy to fill. I just unclip it from the rope that it's hanging on, set it on the ground. I have to untwist the cap, which that is my one complaint. The cap can get frozen onto the base, so sometimes I have to bang it with my hand a little bit. Um, and there was one time when it did get really cold that I just had to pour some warm water over the top of it. But I've always been able to make it come free. And then I just dump in the water, put the lid back on, hang it back up, and they're good for another three or four days or so. Yeah, I also like to test the nipple drinker with my finger just to make sure everything's flowing. And then I just like to bop my head inside the coop to make sure nothing's totally amiss. Normally it's completely fine, which it is right now, but I have come in to some surprises in the past. So I always just like to check on them in the morning. And that's really it for the daily chores for the chicken. Chickens are super simple. On the mornings I don't have to feed in water. It's literally just coming down here to check on them quick. So I always like to say chickens are easier than having a dog by far. So I'm going to head back up to the barn. I just like to give the barn a quick sweep every morning after morning chores. Oh, I guess I do have to feed the cat too. But after that, we're done. Thank you so much for coming along today. I hope that gives you a little bit of a glimpse into what chores are like in the winter here at Square Farms.